So, we are literally just about to start Chapter 1. The issue here is... Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Okay, that's good. At least the quick partner and quick item menus are a lot faster than physically pausing the game. Should we get more items before we go off to the new world? I think we should at least get a mushroom or two. <laughs> yeah. A goom nut, a fire... The fire flower is going to be extremely useful, but... All right. Okay, we definitely are going to buy at least one mushroom. Eh, let's buy another one. Might as well. We need HP refilling items. I feel like FP should come second. Enemies are dealing extra damage, so let's get that. Um... Hmm. Also going to get a pow block? And a fire flower. I think the offensive items are actually going to be very useful. Because they can hit all enemies. <laughs> I'm mainly already planning for the Koopa Bros boss fight. Alright. Let's spin off and start chapter one. Storming Koopa Bros Fortress. This is going to be fun. Hey, Prince Dusk. How's it going? Oh, yeah. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I made the most epic pot roast of my life tonight. It was delicious. <laughs> yes, Marty. The whole thing was delicious, and I have leftovers for days. Okay. Koopa Troopa time. I do not like how those two spiky Koopas are in the back. This is a Koopa Troopa everybody knows them. Blah -de blah -de blah -de. Okay, they still have 4 HP. Let's just get the Koopa Troop out of the way. Okay, yeah. Definitely less lag this time. I haven't been streaming for very long, but I'm liking where this is going. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, nothing you can really do, Goombario. Man, those Spike Goombas, they pack a punch. Gotta watch out for them. I'm almost debating just running back, getting going to the Toad House, but we're going to keep on pressing on. Oh, got your first vaccine shot today. Nice. Ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. Whoa! The Paragoombas still only deal one damage? That's interesting. Yeah. Getting shots generally will make your arm sore. I can't remember if it's the first one or the second one that's supposed to be... Gonna be supposed to have like a bit of a harder recovery period. I, I want to say it's like... The second one is worse if you haven't had COVID yet. And then, um, the first one is worse if you have. Also, <laughs> Twitch, don't get mad at me because I used that word. What the heck is that? Um, that's a spiked Paragoomba. That's not good. We can't- we literally can't do anything about that. Wow, they're introducing new enemies on us. And of course it's the enemy that's near this badge block. Dizzy attack, cool. Let's get out of there. Dizzy attack's not very good, unless they changed it. Darn it, I forgot it takes 10 seconds to open up the badge menu. How dare I bring up the fi- I was only talking about the final world of Mario Sunshine. Dizzy Attack? Yeah, that's that hasn't changed. I didn't think it would- Why is there a Hammer Brother here? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? For those of you who don't know, the Hammer Bro is an enemy that doesn't appear until the final chapter of the game. Okay, let's just sneak past him, if at all possible. Mm. Oh, 
All right, chapter one means business. <laughs> Hey, hey, Proxima! How's it going? <laughs> if if you were an RPG protagonist, you'd put me in my party. Oh, you probably don't want to do that. I'm not very... F <laughs> I'm not very good. Oh, sweet. Another power... Wait. That wouldn't do anything, though. Because Goombario can't jump on the guy's head. I didn't plan this out properly. What a surprise. All right. Well, we are low on HP. If that hammer bro notices us, then we might be dead. <laughs> Let's just try to hold out till we get to Koopa Village. <laughs> oh, thank you, payoff badge. Okay. I bet you that question mark block has something good in it, too. No! No, oh, that's bad. I think we're dead. Yeah, we are so dead. Well, that didn't last long for the f till the first game over. Wow! When they said promo, they were not joking. Okay! Well, that's unfortunate. So that is, that's not even a nerfed hammer bro. That is a that's a buffed hammer bro compared to the end game of the last time. All right. Well, we got to buy our items again. I think I'll buy two pal blocks. Cuz some of those enemies it would be very nice to have pal blocks for. Specifically the ones where the spiked goombas are in the back. <laughs> hey Janae. Yes, first thing you see is already getting a game over. That's how difficult that th this uh, hack is. <laughs> Chapter one, you haven't seen this before. <laughs> yes, we have. All right. Yeah, enemies here deal double damage, and um, yeah, that's pretty much that. Yeah, that can instant take out those spike goombas, which is nice. Whew. Yeah, I'm also a little worried about Koopa Village. Are they going to be throwing out... <laughs> Are they going to be throwing gulpids at me? Like, seriously. <laughs> or, like, super buffed fuzzies? I'm, I'm a little concerned. At least the Paragoombas. I feel like... So the Paragoombas are nice in that they don't actually... <laughs> hurt any more than they did in normal mode, but regular Goombas do, so if we make- if we destroy the Paragoombas' wings, then they get more powerful for some reason. Yeah. They only deal one damage, but if they lose their wings, they deal two. Okay. I was- I was hoping for a bigger challenge, and I definitely am getting it. I was also hoping for less game lag, and we're getting that too. Yay! I need to stop streaming at 60 FPS unless it's a game that actually runs at 60 FPS. <laughs> or at the very least, more than... F I know for a fact Paper Mario Original does not run at f higher than 30 FPS. <laughs> okay. That's the guy that has the spiked Paragoomba. That I need to watch out for. We'll get first strike, we're gonna tattle, and then we're gonna get out. <laughs> we better not be seeing, like, spiked pa hyper paragoombas. That would be too much. Alright, alright. We're gonna run away, we're gonna try spinning away so we can pick up all the money that we drop. Without getting tangled in another battle. Booyah! Beautiful. I probably will not be using the Fright Jar, but maybe we can scare away the Hammer Brother if worse comes to worse. Alright. Alright. Holy cow, I never thought I'd see the day where I'd actually intentionally walk during... Uh, <laughs> during a Paper Mario game. But walking actually makes it harder for enemies to notice you. Okay. I feel like this is a good time for the other power block. 
I can always buy more at Koopa Village. It's funny, because Pal Box normally kind of stink in the original Paper Mario, but man, they're pretty nice here. Alright, let's get them out of here. <laughs> Give us those sweet, sweet star points. We're not getting very many star points. Okay. We gotta time this. We gotta wait for the hammer bro to be far... Don't like that. Alright, spin, 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 spin! <laughs> Alright, there we go. Take that. Our payoff badge will help us get some more money. I'm already f I'm already trying to figure out if I should level up BP or FP next. Because I only have, like, one attack that actually uses FP, but we're about to get Cooper and Bombette, who both have very good MP-consuming abilities. <laughs> MP, FP. This is not Final Fantasy. Oh no, not the lag! No lag! Weesh! And these are the easy enemies of the game, so I'm shuddering already to figure out what the tougher enemies are going to be like. If all enemies in the game deal double damage, it's going to just be utterly insane in the end chapters. Like, I'm going to have to avoid enemies. Oh yes, sleepy sheep. That's a nice pair of sunglasses you got there, Mr. Koopa. Stop putting spiked Goombas in the back! <laughs> Watch Cooper Bros. Fortress be filled with Bill Blasters. That very well could happen. Watch out there be watch there be piranha plants. Piranha plants would actually be more believable. They're only world three enemies, not world eight enemies. I'm also curious if they're gonna put in more invisible blocks in here. Cause that would actually be really cool. Alright, yeah. Let's fill up on HP here. I don't know why he's giving me free hearts, but I'll take it. Let's also help ourselves do a honey syrup. Thank goodness people just drop stuff for us to pick up. Alright, I can never remember the order that this is. Is it literally just left to right? No, it's not. I can never remember the order that that's in. Uh, can it be? Are you Mario? Well, welcome to Koopa Village! I wish we could give you a really well- I wish we could really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Can you see what kind of madness is going on? I, I can't. I can hear music, though. This village is in an uproar because of the fuzzies. I mean, at least it's not the Hammer Bros. You do know what fuzzies are like, don't you, Mario? They look like this. Mean guys. They're really naughty. Hey, that's the name of a boss from Donkey Kong Country. Oh no! Stupid Fuzzy! Get back here with my shell! Bloomp. Oh, thank you, Mario! I owe you one! I just can't walk around without my shell on! Talk about embarrassing! Mario, be sure to keep your shell safe from the fuzzies, alright? I'm good, bro. I don't have a shell. Oops, you don't have one. Well, watch your overalls. Ugh. Surely they're not that cruel. Hey, I know that the fuzzies are out here, but I want to take a nap. Well, okay, Mario! I did notice your FP was a little low. Ah, did you sleep well? Oh, yes! <laughs> Nothing helps me sleep better than the sounds of Koopas screaming for a Get that back here, Fuzzy. <laughs> oh, boy. Best item. Here, take your shell back, bro. I know Koopas can't jump. <laughs> oh, you're the best! Thank you very much! 
Here you go, buddy. Thanks, Mario! This shell was made to order! That's why it fits me so well. I mean, how cool do I look? You look exactly the same as all the other Koopas. I think it's the same sprites. Speaking of sprite, do you have sprite in here? Twelve... Oh my... Who would spend 20 coins on a Voltroom? That's just crazy. Oh, I should have bought more power... I should have bought more POW blocks at um, Toad Town. They were cheaper there. Um, I'd rather have one coin than a dried shroom. Um, I think I'd rather have eight coins than a Fright Jar as well. All right, well... Actually, no. Fire flowers are only slightly more expensive than Pow Blocks. Actually, no. I sh I'm going to get a Pow Block at least for the Koopa Bros. But I think besides that, Fire Flowers are a much better bet. Unless it's the Bill Blasters. I can't remember if the fire actually damages the Bill Blasters. I'll get another Pow Block. I have too many items. Oh, no. Oh, I have a lot of more Fire Flowers than I thought. Oh, well. Oh, wait. I can't carry that. Oh, hey, bro. What's up? Supposedly, these bob recently ran away from the Koopa Bros' fortress. Of course, things aren't much better here in the village. The fuzzies are running wild. Poor little bob -oms. Huh? Me? I don't leave my house because I couldn't bear it if the fuzzies made a fool out of me. They'd probably take my shell and play with it. I don't know I don't look cool without my shell. Nope. No, thank you. I'd rather just stay here and listen to my music. Where are bob -oms? We just ran away from Koopa Bro's fortress. We thought we'd at least find some peace here in the village. Boy, were we wrong. The fuzzies are running wild around here. All we want is a little peace. You must listen. The Koopa Bros of the fortress worked us too hard. As far as they're concerned, laborers have no rights. We will never... I will never ever go back to work in such a terrible place. The Golden Oldies Station. I love the music that plays here. <laughs> it's the credits music from Super Mario World. It's great. <laughs> hey, Mobius, how's it going? Information station. News flash! Fuzzies are running rampant in Koopa Village. You don't say. Officials advise extra caution when traveling in and around the village. No biggie! Wait. Save block. Because game overs take you back to your last save? Save often. You fuzzies won't beat me! Behold my power! What? How is that? Superpower, wasn't it? That was That's not in the vanilla game, is it? I certainly don't remember that. Take that. I wish you got a reward for saving all the Koopa shells. Thank you! Typical Mario style! You're just as cool as I heard you were! Thanks, bro. Oh, hey, you're the only female Koopa. These fuzzies, will their mischief never end? My husband is never here when there's trouble. My husband? Oh, his name is Colorado. I, uh, you've heard of him. He claims to be a famous explorer. Who knows if it's true or not? He runs his mouth a lot. She's also the only person in town with two rooms in her house. I love how all the houses look like Koopa shells, too. Oh no, a puzzle! <laughs> Whatever will I do? <laughs> there you go, buddy. The other Koopa's like, sweet, second shell! Just grabs it. <laughs> I might have known! You're so clever, Mario! I, I know I am. I am pretty awesome. Give me... Give me that money. Oh, best character in the game here. What's the world coming to when a Koopa can't even step outside for fear of fudgies? I've lived many, many years, and this is the first time I've seen anything like this. Yeah, Koopa Koot. I wonder if Koopa Koot's favors are any different. That would be funny. Who's there? I'm kind of busy right now. You've got a scarf. That means you're important. Wait, could it, could it be? Aren't you Mario? You are! My name's Cooper! Oh, I'm so psyched to meet you! Us meeting here has got to be fate or something. I need a huge favor. I hope you'll help me out. 
This wild fuzzy took my shell, which, next to my life, is the most important thing I have. Bro, you need friends. I can't go out without my shell, period. Way too embarrassing. The problem is, the fuzzies are too fast for me to catch alone. So if you don't mind, can you help me get my shell back? I'm begging you! I love the little bow animation he does. Hey Mario, it looks like he, he's in a bad way. We ought to help him out. The fuzzy that took my shell is just inside my house. I'll guard the door while you grab him like, whoop! Okay. Mjork! Cooper is one of the more useless party members, but I still prefer him to Coops. He's cooler than Coops is. Alright. Thankfully, I think a Fire Flower will be enough to take out the Fuzzies for this battle. Mjork! Mjork! Come get it if you can! Yeah, yeah! Mjork! Guess where I'm hiding! I was wondering if this was going to be faster. Oh no, I wonder what tree he's in. Yo, Not bad, chump! But that was just a warm-up! Mjork! Guess where I'm hiding! Mjork? Mjork? You got me twice! Must have been luck! Now I'm serious! Mjork! Guess where I'm hiding! Yo no! I give up, Uncle! Here, take the stupid shell! You got Cooper's shell! Can we give it to someone else, or like, sell it at the shop? You're too tough for me! I won't be bad anymore, I promise! Maybe. If this was found in your door, a Koopa shell gives you plus two defense for a few turns. Uh-oh, he's mad! Mario! There you are! I realized I have to take a stand against these fuzzies! If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my reputation! I don't even care that I have no shell on! I'm gonna show those fuzzies what's what! Oh, we already got the shell back. Oh yes! Yes! This is my shell, alright! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I got my shell back! Uh-huh! You're the greatest, Mario! I owe you big time! Look how happy he is. Good to hear you're happy! Say, Mario, I have an idea. Do you happen to know Professor Colorado? Mario, you just heard about him from that girl Koopa. Naturally, he's a Koopa who's a professor of archaeology. He's also known as an explorer. Right, well, I live next to him. I've been admiring Professor Colorado ever since I was in my egg. Nothing would make me happier than traveling the world solving mysteries like he does. So, uh, do you think... Could I... Please take me with you, Mario! I'll help! Come on, let me go! What do you think, Mario? Yeah. Oh, yes! Yes! I'm on my way! I swear, I, Cooper, will follow you anywhere, even to the ends of the Earth. Well, funny, because that's where we're going in Chapter 8. <laughs> Cooper, join your party. Press down C to make him throw himself and reach an item or a switch in the distance. While in battle, he can attack an enemy to the, on the ground using Shell Toss, or attack all enemies on the ground with Power Shell. Power Shell's going to be very nice. When you want to switch your party member, use the at right C. And speaking of right C, we're immediately switching to Goombario so we can tattle on the fuzzies. Mjork! I changed my mind, sucker! How about a fight? <laughs> I you can you can make the argument that Coops is more useful of a party member than Cooper, but I like Cooper's personality and like design better. Alright, we're gonna tattle on the fuzzies, because I believe this is the last time we can actually tattle on them. This is a fuzzy! Why do fuzzies always jump up and down? They need to chill out! The problem with fuzzies oh yeah, we don't even learn yeah. Oh sweet, they only have free HP. Alright. Bada beam bada boom! Easy battle. <laughs> That's why fire flowers are great. <laughs> Mjork, no! We'll be good! We'll be good! Alright. Alright, now we'll, well, now we'll actually use Cooper, because we got a nice badge up here. Whoop, whoop. HP plus! And this actually, we, this is a, a hack where um, HP plus might be nice. <laughs> Having some extra HP might be very, very useful, considering how much damage we take. <laughs> and now that we've used that fire flower, oh, sweet. 
Yes, please. I'm saving up for Power Plus. Oh, welcome, young fella. I'm the elder of Koopa Village. Folks call me Koopa Coot. Say, mind you do me a favor? Oh, well, how very kind of you. I guess the younger generation is so bad after all. Well, then, young fella, I don't usually ask for favors, but biggest lie in the game. Perhaps just one little one? Could you borrow the book Koopa Legends from Colorado? I'm certain if you were to ask his wife, she'd lend it. If it isn't a trouble, please go there as soon as possible. You promise, young fella? All right. All right, bro. We just have to go next door. And I'm sure this is the only favor he's going to ask of us, right? Oh, little Cooper is going to go on Mario's adventure. How cute. Take care. This is promo. He's gonna die. <laughs> oh, do you need something? You're doing an errand for uh, the Elder, are you? Hmm, right, Koopa Legends. Yes, my husband owns that one. Of course you can borrow it. Don't let that old coot work you too hard, okay, Mario? He's known to do that. He's also a bit short-tempered. Well, anyway, wait here for just a moment. I can go poke around my husband's bookshelf. I don't mind Hammer Bros in the first world, as long as you can avoid them. If you ha Or, like, if you have to actually fight them, that's a little too much. Found it! You're talking about this book, right? Yep. Koopa Legends. Might as well get a jump ahead on some of the favors, because we get star pieces for doing these. Great Galapagoombas! You're a life shaver, Mario! <laughs> Cooper's having some fun right now. This is just what I needed! <laughs> to show my gratitude, I'd like to make a gift of this. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take it. One coin. <laughs> Cooper, no! Don't jump out of bounds! <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah! Kawiz! Chuck Quizmos today, man! Quizzes are my game! You want quizzes? I got them! If you can manage to answer my brain-busting questions correctly, then... ya ya yahoo I'll give you a star piece! Wanna try a quiz? Sure, bro. Then let's go to the question! Question. What color of pants was the Goomba King wearing? Ha! Easy. Red and white. Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star piece! <laughs> You've correctly answered one question so far! But we're not done yet! Wanna try the no- <gasps> What? Then let's go to the question- Oh my gosh! Can you do a bunch of questions in a row? That makes this so much better. <gasps> question! What did Luigi want to tell you back at Princess Peach's party? Oh, this is a different question. The Zero EXP Challenge. Oh, this is awesome! Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star piece! You correctly answered two questions! But we're not done yet! Yes! Can we do all of them? Probably not. We can probably only do the ones that are related to the prologue and maybe chapter one. Now let's go to the question! Question! How many bushes can you search a Junior Troopers playground? That's a different question. I think it's seven, right? Correct! How in the world did you know that? But here's your star piece! <laughs> These are actually different questions. Alright, three questions, but we're not done yet! Let's just keep going. Question! How did Princess Peach close her invitation lever? Yours truly, Peach. Nope! Oops! Tough luck, pal! Wrong answer! Better luck next time! Well, so long, farewell, until we meet again! Oh man, these new questions are kind of screwing me up. I didn't know that. Wow, that's so cool though. They gave him new questions and you can answer as many in a row as you can like, well, actually answer correctly. That's really cool. I love that. It must have been sincerely. All right, we're gonna check that Koopa leaf. And should I? Yeah, I'm gonna buy another pal block. I don't think we really encounter any other items along the road. So we should stock up. Alright. Alright, it was left, right, middle. Attack Epic's B badge! I'm gonna equip that after I get another badge I wanna equip. Because I don't wanna spend 10 seconds opening up that start menu for nothing. Alright, before we go ahead, we're gonna go double back a little bit. <laughs> Get ourselves that star piece. Alright, 
I prefer Goombario to Cooper. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> I, f I, I feel like Goombario is one of the most underrated party members. Like, he's pretty solid in almost any situation. Whereas Cooper is more specialized. <laughs> I like that booby trap. Okay, maybe we should actually have Cooper out after all. Rats. Should have kept out Cooper. Oh well. Oh man, imagine the coins we're gonna get from all the damage we're taking, though. Hammer on the belly! Alright, Power Shell is gonna be really, really nice. <laughs> Aw, yeah! Takes free FP, but I think it's worth it. Take that. Oh yeah, money, baby. And star points. Also very important. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh man, the payoff badge is already paying off. Oh, I forgot. We do get a Thunderbolt, which is a pretty good item. Alright, um... I don't need the Goom Nut. We can get those for free after this world. I know that's one of my only FP restoring items, but... You, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh my gosh, you actually do encounter fuzzies outside of the... Oh, that's interesting. You do you do encounter fuzzies outside of that one battle. I like that. Alright, let's get rid of the spiked Goombas as soon as possible. Alright, Cooper has proven to be very nice. Oh man, fuzzies are no more powerful than they were before. That's actually interesting. It's interesting to see that some enemies did not get buffed. Maybe they thought that fuzzies that had double attack power would be a little too much. It's definitely possible. Oh wait, no, no, no! Wait. Darn it, I just realized I should have eaten the Goom Nut. Oh well, <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> I love that sound effect. <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna get a level up from this fight. Also, is it just me, or are paratroopas really hard to get the first strike on? They, they seem like they're very difficult to get first strike on. Yeah, that's a paratrooper. Because they're at full HP, I'm gonna let them damage me. Wait, they do... They do damage too? I'm very confused why some enemies are doing... I'm very confused right now. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, well, that didn't go according to plan. How many more fire flowers? I have two more. Let's torch them. Here, deal the full damage to me, bro. I want, I want to take full damage, because I'm about to get a full heal. And I'll get a bunch of money. <laughs> Alright, that's a level up. Let's see... I think I'm still going to go for FP. Ooh, sweet! A free POW block. That's nice. I'm going to go for FP just because Cooper's Power Shell is really, really nice. But it takes a lot of FP. So now, instead of only being able to use one Power Shell, I can now use three. <laughs> Definitely an improvement. Oh my gosh. Really? Okay, I still get two from Koopa Troopas. How many do I get from Spiky Goombas? Still two, okay. Thank goodness the fuzzies aren't that difficult to guard against. It looks like it's a tough timing, but it's really not. Alright, we're actually going to go off to Koopa Bros Fortress. I was wondering if we would actually make it there, depending on how 
difficult uh, the enemies would be, but no, even with a game of... It is really annoying to get the first strike on these guys. You have to put a lot of distance between you. Oh, wait. I'm not using a fire flower on that guy. We're running. I'm gonna leave those coins. Leave them! Alright, here we are. Cooper Bros Fortress. Whoa! Mario! What the- uh, Oh, we're in a world of hurt! Mario's here already! I gotta tell the leader! Red Koopa! Well, that was a nice welcome. I've also been told that the Cooper Bros Fortress is a remix of a, another Mario song, and I'm not actually sure which one that would be. Okay... We're gonna tattle on the bob to begin with. Eh, it's a bob -omb. I think they still have free HP. Yeah... That's... Hmm... That's kinda tough, yeah. As long as they don't light their fuses, we'll be a Why did he light his fuse early? Oh, bob -ombs are different now. Okay, so they light their fuse after you damage them, or they can just light it at any time. Well, this is why I switched to Cooper. Bam! <laughs> Take that. All right. I think, I think just by nature of them making us go against more enemies and making the enemies tougher, I think Cooper's just naturally going to be more useful by nature of his power shell, being able to hit multiple enemies. Which I, you know, I'm, I'm down for that. Because Cooper was kind of underutilized in the original game. There, there weren't a lot of situations where he was more useful than other partners. I actually, hmm. You know what? I kind of dig the change to the bob -ombs as well. It, it, it adds a little more excitement to the battle, <laughs> knowing that they could light their fuse at any time. All right, this is shit. I'm I'm really digging this hack. I like I like the changes that they're making. It's they're really great. Oh hi! Were there always two bomb bombs in this room? Wait, this is the same fight. This is literally the same fight. Hey, Nintendo Addict, how's it going? Wait, why did I hammer this guy when he's... Well, we can still take him out, but... <laughs> that was dumb. Okay. Do-do-do. <laughs> oh! Oh yeah, we can lock up the cell. Haha! <laughs> Let's see the Great Mario get any farther now! Oh, did somebody say the Great Mario? Yeah, Mario! You, uh, don't try any, uh, you'll still never find your way through this fortress. Um, it looks like there might be some fighting here. How exciting! See ya! Is this a mini, mini boss? Nope, just a common enemy. Okay! You know I love this wave of enemies. Why do they always put the spiked Goombas in the back? Those are- that's so annoying! <laughs> oh, 
Alright, I think we're going to be taking advantage of the Power Shell again. Man. Cooper's Power Shell is really proven to be super useful in this. Like, it's pretty... It's... It's pretty good in World 1 of Vanilla Game, but especially when you're up against a bunch of enemies like this that can deal a lot of damage if you don't take them out quickly. Yeah, it's really nice. Hey, bro! WHY IS THERE A CLUBBA HERE?! WHY IS THERE A CLUBBA IN THE Koopa Bros FORTRESS?! WHAT IS THIS CRAP?! <laughs> WHAT IS THIS?! This is not good. At least it's not a white club, but... Nothing. Alright! Let's grab the Power Bounce Badge, one of the most broken badges in the whole game. And, um, let's go back to that Heart Block! Actually, wait. Is, no, we have to go back to that Heart Block. <laughs> we cleared out all of the enemies, and we can just skip them when going back in. Wow! Alright! <laughs> Is that just going to be how this hack is? Just every so often you engage in a fight and it's like, Oh, there's an enemy from several worlds in the future. That It doesn't even really make sense that there's a club out here. Let's save. <laughs> Let's save. <laughs> save early, save often. Just like Excel Word documents. Excel Microsoft Word documents. And Microsoft Excel documents. Both both apply. Oh, we didn't fight you last time. I should try the Final Fantasy 1 hard hack sometime. That thing is brutal. I haven't even played regular Final Fantasy 1. Okay... <laughs> oh yeah, Power Bounce is one of the best badges in the whole game. <laughs> Especially when you combine it with Dodge Master. I'm gonna save my FP for Power Shell. Definitely glad I leveled up FP. That saved my butt. My gosh. That Goomba, though. Why are these spiked Goombas dealing so much damage? <laughs> Even when I'm doing the action guard, it's still two damage a pop. <laughs> oh, man. This is exactly what I was looking for, though, for Paper Mario. An added challenge. And it's still fun. It's not, it's not Kaizo levels of difficulty. I feel like it's a wasted opportunity that they didn't put something at the top of these the stairs here if you jump up before hitting the switch. Whoosh! Oh, hi, bro. Um, Nintendo Addict, how Power Bounce works is... there. So how it works is that you can keep Power Bouncing as long as you can push the action command, but every enemy in the game has a natural resistance has, like, a hard-coded resistance to Power Bounce, so, like, bosses will have a high resistance to it, so it will cap the number of Power Bounces you can get. But I know Goombas have zero resistance to it, so you can indeed get 100 Power Bounces off on a Goomba, as long as you can push the Action Command in, at, at the same rate. It's, it's fun. <laughs> I feel like m most common enemies that you face have very low resistance, so I think you can get, like, an insane amount of power bounces off on, like, gold bits as well. All 
All right, well, that answers what we're going to do. We're going to be power bouncing, or power showing. And I am glad that the bosses cap the power bounce, because it would be dumb if you could take out a boss just by power bouncing on him over and over again. I'm not looking forward to the Room of Pain in here, though. The one where you have to fight the free paratroopa swarms. That could be really, really difficult. <laughs> Alright, we still have 10 HP. Yeah, this room. This room could be tough. We have a lot of items, but I would like not to blow through all of them. Alright, I'm still going to keep Cooper out, just because I'm pretty sure we're going to be facing some ground-based enemies as well. Yep! How did I know? Yeah, I think after this battle, I think I'm gonna munch on a mushroom. Just to keep my HP up. Because I'm gonna be in danger after this! <laughs> I could, I guess I could have power jumped, but no. I'm saving all my FP for power shell. <laughs> Actually, just to make sure I have time to do it. I'm going to do it now. Alright, there we go. I am a little worried because we have only two more HP refilling items now. Oh, they don't even drop coins, so payoff's not even going to help. That bob looks like he's floating in the air. I know he's not, but... I'm gonna have you do nothing. I am still going to have you do nothing. <laughs> Sometimes doing nothing is the right strategy. <laughs> All okay, right. Well, let's let's take out the bomb. I'm not waiting for him to ignite himself. Alright, I forgot the... Yeah, the Koopas are not any more powerful in this. Or maybe... May, I wonder... I wonder if in Pro Mode, getting the Action Guard lowers damage by two instead of one. That actually could be a thing. Because I noticed that the fuzzies, when I didn't action guard against them, they dealt two damage. But when I did, they only they didn't deal any damage. I don't know if that's like a just a glitch in the hack, or if the hack you literally guard extra damage when you guard. Maybe it's just you. Maybe it's just you come with a free damage dodge badge. That's kind of what I'm on the, the assumption of. Oh hey friends. Oh man, we didn't even need to eat the, the mushroom. Also, why are these guys wearing sunglasses inside? Are they just... They're just trying to look extra cool. Man, I'm digging Cooper. Cooper's been invaluable in this dungeon. Alrighty. 
Alrighty. I'm glad we didn't face off against Clubbas in those forced battles. Thank you, game. <laughs> Thank you, hack developers, for not being complete sadists. That's probably something that I would have been tempted to do <laughs> if I were making the hack. Because <laughs> I'm a bit, I'm a bit of a sadist when it comes to level design sometimes. Anybody who's seen my custom junior arcade humongous entertainment levels can vouch for that. Money, money, money. Cooper's like, dude, this isn't even that hot. Like, <laughs> what a wuss. <laughs> you have to jump over that? I can just tank it. There we go. Fortress key. I also low-key uh, cannot wait to get speedy spin. <laughs> <laughs> Speedy Spin is so fun to have. 10,000 channel points. I don't have anything you can really do with channel points other than getting some of the emotes that you normally have to subscribe for. But they're worth it. You can get Putt Putt and R for Smiling Weirdly, and you can get Master Tony. Okay, this is perfect, uh, I think. Whoa! Looks like Mario's here! You might also, you might be able to per, uh, play sounds with channel points as well. I think Nintendo Addict tried to do that last stream, but it didn't work out for one reason or another. Because I because I ended the stream right as he was using it. Also, is it just me, or does it... Submit! There we go! <laughs> it works! <laughs> channel points work. Yeah, it looks like... Is that supposed to be, like, a pool of water below? Because you go in, but then it leads to the... To the, uh... <laughs> but then it leads to the jail cell, but it really looks like there's water there. It's like you jump in a pool, and then... You go underwater, and the jail cell is underwater. I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Loser! Serves you right, you fell for it. <laughs> oh yeah, best party member. Oh, what was that? Where did that fall from? Oh, I wondered what just fell, but aren't you Mario? I never in a million years thought I'd meet such a famous guy in a place like this. Who, me? My name's Bombette. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm a bob -omb. Pleased to meet you. I mean, I'm all, I also... I think as far as, like, gameplay goes, Watt is, like, undisputedly the best, but Bombette is, like, my favorite. Alright, let's top off our HP and FP. What's that? Why am I locked up here? Because I'm a menace! At least to these guys. Those aren't Koof Koopa Bros. I was just one of many bob working here. But those Koopa Bros, once Bowser took over, they started working us into the ground. I couldn't take it anymore, so I exploded next to them. Yeah, that was a mistake. The Koopa Bros didn't like it, so they locked me in here. And then they locked me up for the rest of the bo they locked up the rest of the Bobombs because they thought they might rise up. You know, a Bobomb rebellion! What do you think about that? Can I get all the Bobombs as my party members? Oh sorry. It's a long story, I know. Anyway, Mario, we want to get out of here. Do you think that you could help us spring us from this place or what? Pretty please? If you help us, I promise I'll return the favor. Yes! Oh, how nice! Well, we'll be good friends from now on. I can feel it. We'll make a super team, Mario. Yeah, we will. Bombette, join your party. Press down C to make Bombette walk for a short time and then explode. She can destroy crack balls or rocks and activate switches. While in battle, she can attack an enemy on the ground with her body slam ability. Or damage enemies on the ground with her bomb attack. Now, let's think of a way to get out of here. Oh, gee, I almost forgot. I haven't even told you about what I can do, silly me. My specialty is exploding. Check this out. <laughs> I like how her fuse is a ponytail. <laughs> See, if there are any cracks in a wall, I can probably break it. Let me try this one. Puff, 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 take cover. Boom. Nice job, girl. See that? You see what I bring to the party, Mario? Oh! 
Oh, an escape route! Well, I... I guess I never thought about doing that before. I was so mad, I just blew up over and over in one place. <laughs> okay, that was a little silly. Well, anyway, we can get out now, right? And so can everyone else! Thank you, Mario! From now on, I'll tag along and help out wherever I can. You just ask and I'll be there for you. Now, enough chit-chat. I have a little score to settle with those Koopa Bros. Well, unfortunately, girl, we're going to switch to Cooper because we're about to face a mini-boss against multiple bob -oms. And in case they all light themselves up, i got to be able to be ready for power shell. What's all the noise? In case you bob forgot, exploding is prohibited inside the fortress, except in case of emergencies. Well, it was an emergency. There was no bathroom in there, and sometimes you got to go. What the? Mario? What are you doing here? Nothing good, I bet. Everybody get him. Are we going to face a club now? I was joking, game. I was just kidding. It would be nice to have quick change in here. I would argue quick change is the best badge in the game. Okay! Let's take out the clubba! <sighs> At least we're getting a lot of star points for the clubbas. <laughs> yeah, I must have natural damage dodge, which I approve of. Damage dodge is one of my favorite badges. Oh, sweet! Just enough for a level up! Alright, we gotta go for BP this time. Oh, yes, we do get coins from that mid-boss battle. I forgot about that. Alright, now we are gonna equip some badges. Alrighty. I could equip HP+. Plus. I'll equip the attack FX. Um, Power Bounce takes four BP in this. Wow. Apparently they realized how broken that badge is, and they're like, yeah, you're going to need four BP, not two. Okay. Well. Hmm. I think Hammer, you know, Hammer Pro, I think, is going to be legitimately really useful, because in case there is, like, a spiked Goomba in the very back, or a spiked Paragoomba, we can now deal with them. Not Goombario, I wanted I wanted best girl. That's right that's right, Bo fans. I called Bombette best girl. Oh yeah, refund badge. Yeah, change of plans. We're 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 equipping that. Not. <laughs> We're equipping refund, not close call. I don't know why. Refund has always been one of my favorite badges. I, I, I just like... I love the animation of you getting all of those coins when you use an item. Bombette's like, are you, like, ever gonna use me? Oh, trust trust me, Bombat. We're gonna use you. We're gonna, we're gonna find some uses for you in battle. Like, against the Bill Blasters. <laughs> forgot about that one. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. Uh, apparently, yeah, the Koopa Bros. Fortress theme is apparently a remix of the Mario Bros. Free castle themes, which I literally never noticed until it was pointed out to me. <laughs> How embarrassing. Darn it! Yeah, that, that always happens. Like, every time I go up against a paratroop, I feel like I always end up jumping into their first strike.
Boom. Literally, boom. Oh no, now we're only getting one star point per enemy. Oh, maybe we should stop fighting every enemy we see now. Oh yeah, time for this fun puzzle. Well, puzzle meaning use Cooper over and over again. I think the game wants you to use Bombette to, like, drop her there, walk across, and then wait for her to blow up later, but it's way easier to just use Cooper for all of this. There we go. You all know the drill at this point. <laughs> Oh, PowerShell, I love you, PowerShell, I do. <laughs> when we're apart, my heart beats only for you. <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm liking the enemies dropping these FP points, for, these <laughs> all this FP for me, so I can just keep using PowerShell. <laughs> Pay no attention to the man in the jail. Wait, whoa. Did you guys see that? <laughs> Graphical glitch. The crack is simultaneously in the wall and it's blown up. <laughs> Do you guys see that? <laughs> it's like the wall is blown up, but also the crack is there. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. That texture error was in the vanilla game too? I never noticed that. That's, that's interesting. I thought that was just an emulator visual bug. Kind of like how the grottos don't spawn for... Don't, don't visually spawn for you, Nintendo Addict. Ah, no! Those Koopas were just chilling in their hot tub, and then... Then we ruined their party. They look so scared. Ouch. <laughs> oh no, he stood back up. What will we do? Knock him back over. <laughs> I'm still a little nervous for the Cooper Bros, though. I don't know. I think they're going to be pretty tough. Because, th honestly, they're fairly tough in the vanilla game if you don't know how exactly how to exploit them. And if they can do 8 damage with one attack, then, oof, we might, we might be in some trouble. Of course, the instant I bring out Goombario, we get a spiky Goomba. Ouch. Actually, this might be a boss fight where the Smash Charge badge will come in handy, which we are about to get.
Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom, ba -dum, ba -dum. It's funny, normally I don't like turn-based RPGs, but Paper Mario is the exception. <laughs> I think the action commands have a lot to do with it, along with the badges. Alright, there we go. Well, it looks like we're going to be finishing Chapter 1 tonight, which is cool. I was I was worried we'd only get up to the Koopa Bros Fortress, but... Guess what? <laughs> oh, wait. There's a bob up here, so we'll get out our trusty Cooper. Hey, bro. You don't mind if I just, like, grab this badge from you, do you? Thanks, man. There's a cool trick you can do with the Bill Blasters, which I'm going to try to pull off. It's a little tight, but if it works, it looks so fun. It's, it looks so awesome if you can pull it off. <laughs> Alright, take that. At this point, I think I'm going to unequip Hammer Fro because I don't think it's going to have any use whatsoever in the upcoming fights. <laughs> And in place, we're going to equip Smash Charge and Close Call. And we actually might end up equipping HP... No, we're going to equip HP Plus for, um... After we beat the Bill Blasters. Oh yeah, best music! Well, 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 Mario! I wouldn't have bet you'd make it this far! Pfft, don't get smug, pal! You just caught us off guard! Trust me, we'll mop the floor with you if we get serious. We're as cool as they come. Yeah, boys! Open fire! Alright, here come the bullet bills. What a smash... Wow! They're a lot faster in this than they were in the vanilla game. Okay! What does Smash Charge do? Um, that will increase the power of your next hammer attack by two. Okay, well, um, if they're this fast, then it might... It might be difficult to pull off what I'm going to try to do, but... <sighs> Alright, tattle on the bullet bill! We just saved, we just saved. So, if we take a little extra damage, then so be it. Darn it! Oh, that's not good. That's not good! That's not good! Couldn't damage dodge it. Rats. Luckily, we just saved. We just gotta hurry up and get to that health fulfilling block. <laughs> Alright. Darn it! Ugh. You clever little sneak! Just let me see the HP. Alright, sweet. I was actually able to guard that. Yeah, the Bull Bill Bridge is actually super dangerous now. Ouch! Duck on it! Why is that so hard to action guard? If I can just make it to that HP block, though. Good grief. Ow! 
Ouch. Yeah, you can't, you cannot react to that. You literally just have to guess if there's one coming or not. There, there, it comes too fast for you to be able to actually react to it. Okay, I think I've been hitting it too early. You, like, basically have to wait till the damage marker appears. Doggone it, I'm too greedy for the money. Alright, already just beat them up. Move past the money, it's not worth it. <laughs> and just hurry up to that HP block. If I can action guard one more, then I can afford it. Alright. Yes, there we go. Okay. Alright, so here's what I'm going to try to do. So we're going to save. Yeah, wait for the bottom one to go, and then... Bada beam Boom. There we go. Why is there another Klubba? Also, why did they not destroy it? All right, we're gonna pow block this. That'll take out the first cannon. Now we're gonna bomb the second one. Okay, cool, that takes out two of the cannons. I only saw the Koopa Bros manning the cannons, I did not see a Klova. <laughs> Well, now I'm going to swap to Goombario. Alright, so that's a Bill Blaster. I can't remember how much HP they have. Four. Thunderbolt or not the Thunderbolt? Let's see. A power jump would normally deal four damage, but that's not enough to kill it. I'm gonna power jump the clubba. Alright, I think that'll do it. Now, unfortunately, I don't get the title on the clubba, but he'll actually reappear, whereas the Bill Blaster will not. And that'll kill the clubba. Alright, at this point, I think we are good. Because that can only shoot out one bullet bill per turn. Actually, it can only shoot out one bullet bill every other turn. Alright, now we can bomb the last one. Well, we almost died, but we did it. <laughs> we beat him. Nice job, Bombette. Wow. I love it when it drops so many coins it lags the game. That's just the best. Oh my gosh, we have 168. That's fantastic. Alright, back to Goombario. At this point, we are going to rearrange our badges. We didn't even need Smash Charge. Okay. I want HP+, plus, so I'm going to take off Payoff, because that's not going to play any role. I also don't think I'm going to need Smash Charge, and then we're going to equip HP+, plus for the boss. I will be using a lot of items, though, so I want to keep refund on. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I can see Mario behind the door, that's funny. You guys ready? Hey, Black, what are you doing? Hurry, man, shake a leg! Ow, my shell, get off! Wait, wait a minute. Whoa! Oh, for the love of... What are you doing, yellow? That doesn't look cool at all! Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm ready, Red. Finally! Let's do this. Remember to look cool, guys! Yeah! <laughs> oh, man. I love this boss. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Mario! Blah! The strongest are the coolest! Behold the glory that is the great evil King Bowser! It's time for me to beat these foolish ideas out of you. Saving Peach, please. Watch this and weep. Alright. 
I don't think we're going to need a whole lot of FP for PowerShell later on, so we'll do that. Tattle on Bowser? Bowser? But he looks kind of lame. I mean, he's lame anyway, but does Bowser really look like this? I always imagined him looking, well, a lot scarier. <laughs> ah, I am invincible! You are powerless before me! Okay, he doesn't have any buffed HP at all. Interesting. If the Koopa Bros themselves don't have any buffed HP, then they're going to be pretty easy. Did they make that harder to action guard? What's the matter with you? This isn't even funny! You can't even touch me! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to on the assumption that the Koopa Bros are not going to have buffed HP, in which case I can kind of use all my FP for this part. Oh no! That costume was perfect! Bowser loved it! <laughs> Alright, let's just get the Trojan Bowser out of here and move on to the next phase. That's the one I'm curious about how scary it's going to be. If I believe they're going to do 8 damage with this next attack. Here come the Koopa Bros! <laughs> okay, Mario! Have a taste of this! All right, Yurtle the Turtle and friends. The Koopa Bros special super spinning attack. Yup, eight damage. I'm just gonna knock him over with a pow block. That doesn't knock them over. Whoa, we're going over. I thought that would. That doesn't knock them over all by itself. Okay, I actually, you know, might not tattle on them. I don't think there's really any purpose in me tattling on them. I wonder if the Sleepy Sheep would work. That would be kind of funny to tat. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna see if the Sleepy Sheep works, because if it does, then I can switch to Goombario and tattle on them a whole bunch. Okay, it worked on the front, too. For one turn. Never mind. Glad I have a pow block. Alright, let's tattle on the green Ninja Koopa, at the very least. Okay, he only has one HP left. Um... Let's make this interesting. I think they're all at one HP anyways. But I'm, I want to try to tattle on them all. Yeah, they're all at one HP, so... We can take out two of them now, and then with only two of them, I think they'll only deal four damage, which we can totally take. And we can guard it. Nice. We'll make the, we'll make the fight a little challenging. I was planning on using my Fire Flower plus Power Shell to just instant kill them all, but nope. Whoa, we're going over! Yeah, I, I wasted my Pop Block early on. Take that! Alright, that's the Black Ninja Koopa. I love how you have to tattle on all of them separately. Not. <laughs> I wonder if Red Ninja Koopa has any more HP. <laughs> nope. We'll hammer him to death. Take that! Alright, that was not nearly as difficult as I thought. I thought they were going to each have, like, 10 HP, which would have made the fight a lot more difficult. Whoa! Hey! Hello! Somebody let us out of here! <laughs> and they already repaired the wall. Oh, that, that, that portrait of Princess Peach looks creepier in the emulator. It does not look that creepy on the native console. 
I also wonder if they've changed the Star Spirit abilities at all. Also, <laughs> nice, nice graphical bug on that card. It's just a pure black background. That is not what it looks like in the regular game. End of chapter! And so Mario and friends beat the Koopa Bros at their fortress and rescued the first Star Spirit. Still, six Star Spirits remain imprisoned and they must save them as quickly as they can. The future of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, and of course Princess Peach lies in the hands of Mario and his new friends. Their adventure has just begun. And I couldn't have done it without my friends. Quite literally. If Mario didn't get party members, it would be a much harder game. Oh boy, time for Fug Life Peach again. I wonder what Mario's doing right now. I wonder if he's hurt. I'm so worried about him! He'll be alright, Princess. Why, I bet he's saving some Star Spirits right now! Yes. <laughs> You're right, Twink. I must be strong. I need to concentrate on finding a way out of here. But there are tons of guards just beyond your door! And it's impossible for you to escape through the window! Oh! Wait a minute. I remembered the minister telling me that there was a secret passage out of this room. Twink, help me look for it. Cool, great idea. I think the secret passage was just through this door. <laughs> what a Princess Peach! You know you're, you know you're not allowed to leave the room. I'm sorry, but I have to take you back. You didn't have to Throw me back in, you could have just said, back in the room. <laughs> Are you alright, Princess? Did they hurt you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you, Twink. That was just plain stupid. I've got to be more careful. It doesn't look like you can go out through this door. Oh, brother. What's a girl got to do to get a man to help her out here? <laughs> the fireplace. Quite nice. So big and so warm. <laughs> hmm, a warm fireplace. Don't you find that suspicious? Do you really think so, Twink? It's a fireplace with fire in it. It's kind of supposed to be warm. So many dresses, and yet they all look exactly the same. They're not the same. The designs are all slightly different and very fashionable. Oh, a photo of Mario. Don't look at that. That was... I was making a weird face in that photo. <laughs> It was when we were at Disneyland, and I was eating the Gaston Cinnamon Loaf. <laughs> this is no time to sleep. Yes, let's keep looking! <laughs> this is Loki. Twink has Loki, one of my favorite lines right here. <laughs> Beautiful flowers, aren't they? They smell so good. Sure, I guess. <laughs> Twink's like, I don't have a nose, so I can't really smell them, but... Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, princess. You know, Peach, Mario fell from outer space and he lived. I'm sure you will, too. Oh, look, there's something behind the drawing. Yoink! P Peach has one of those fake fireplaces that just projects, like, <laughs> projects graphical fire instead of real fire. Yes! Cool! Now we can get out of this room! Yoink! Oh, man! I hope none of the guards hear this. Where are we? Looks like it's locked. Oh, no! We can't get out! Can we have Twink appreciate more flowers? Nope. Hey, look at this! It looks like somebody left a private diary just vying around. Should we read it? Yes. Oh, you like doing this sort of thing, do you? Okay then, very quietly. Let's see. Day zero out of zero, month star sunny. Today I went to Star Haven and stole the star rod. Now I'm invincible. Cool. I also captured those seven star spirits so they won't annoy me anymore. It was a hard day's work and I'm feeling pretty bushed. Dinner was nice, but a bit bland. <laughs> Really, the Star Spirits were just prank calling him, and that's why he's like, That's it! I'm stealing the Star Rod! I feel like I might know the person who wrote this. No! Should we read more? Okay, let's continue. 
Day 0x, month star, cloudy then sunny. Today was great, diary! I used my castle to lift Princess Peach's castle all the way up into the sky! Then I barged into Peach's castle and beat a Mario! Yeah, unbelievable! I know, so fun! And there's more! After that, I could that Princess Peach! I wouldn't but couldn't be happier, diary! I hope she likes me. <laughs> I like how this is the first of the Mario games that actually, like, establishes that Bowser legit has a crush on Peach and not just, like, he's kidnapping her to usurp the throne. <laughs> Princess Peach, this is Bowser's diary! Ugh! What do we do? Should we read more? Yes. Day XX, month star, sunny. Well, the Koopa Bros got beaten up by Mario, diary. He even set free that stupid star spirit I kept there. I'm so mad I can barely write! Oh, I'm Mario, I'm so big and strong and good and helpful. I hate him, but I'm not worried. There's no way Mario could save the Star Spirit being held in dry, dry ruins. It's like, pro mode, they make you go to flower fields next. To do that, he'd have to solve the mystery of the sands and then find dry, dry ruins in dry, dry desert. How could he even know to go to the desert anyway? So I'm not worried at all. In fact, I'm so calm, I'm gonna go to bed now. Dry, dry ruins in the middle of dry, dry desert? What if the revered Star Spirit is being held there? Twink, do you think you can find Mario and tell him that? Yes, of course, Princess Peach. I'll find Mario right away. Huh? Bowser also has an amazing theme song in this. Oh no! I can't believe I left my secret diary lying out! It would be so embarrassing if somebody read that thing. I read the whole thing. What? 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 What's the princess doing here? Ah! You little sneak! You read my diary! Uh, King Bowser, is there a problem? You're the worst guards ever! Take Princess Peach back to her room immediately! Yes, sir. Straight away. Forgive us, sir. No! Put me down! I don't like being carried. Everyone just ignore the star that was in the room. He was never there. Mario, I believe you'll save us all. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all you've done. Thank you. Since you have freed me from my prison, the seal on my power is broken, and I will recover it a little by little. As long as an ounce of power remains in me, I shall help you. I, I hope- I wonder if the Star Spirits got buffed in this. Mario can now use the Star Spirits' power in battle! Using a star power requires star energy. Would you like to listen while I tell you how to use star No, I know how to do it. I suggest that you listen, it's very important. I've played this game before, but promo changed how it works, but alright, if you say so. <laughs> Mario, listen carefully. You must save the other star spirits quickly. If the seven of us come together, we'll be able to bestow upon you a star power called the Star Beam. The Star Beam is the only thing that can counteract the star rod that Bowser wields. I have to go back now, back to Star Haven. I must leave immediately, but I'll always be watching you. Even when I'm in the bathroom? Oh no, I'll look away for that. Save us all, Mario. Okie dokie! Well, actually, I think we can take a look at what Refresh does from here. I wonder if they'll have changed the description if they changed it at all. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, it did get buffed! Refresh now recovers HP and FP by 7 instead of 5. That's nice! I'm, gl I'm glad for that. It didn't... Refresh did not need a super big buff, but I think it, it needed a small buff. So that's good. Alright, let's re-equip Payoff. And Hammer Throw. Alright. And Kaboom! Still FP+, plus, still FP+. Plus. FP+, plus, I think, is actually going to be really useful. <laughs> oh my gosh, I landed right on top of the heart block. That was awesome. Alright, I think we're going to have to end the stream there. We completed the whole chapter one, and that was literally, like, almost exactly an hour and a half. So that was awesome. Basically perfect timing. Sweet! Next time... There, I, there's no way we'll be able to beat chapter two in one video. That's a considerably longer, plus there's more side quest stuff to do. And we have to walk all the way back there, so... But I bet we can at least get to Dry Dry Desert, if not Dry Dry Outpost, or maybe even Dry Dry Ruins, the dungeon. So, hoping for that next time. And I'm also really glad that there was basically no lag this time as well. Apparently, not having Firefox open 
and cutting the frame rate in half definitely helped out with the lag, which I think is massively preferable, even if it's not, like, running at a smooth 60 FPS. <laughs> Alright, that's it for tonight. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your night, and God bless. That was my chair.